Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. My name's GBay99, and today I want to ask you, why is it that League of Legends and other MOBA, Dota-style, action, RTS, or whatever you want to call them, why are these games so fun, so addicting, and so damn popular? Currently, League of Legends is basically like World of Warcraft from six or seven years ago, and MOBAs are the new MMOs. Video games like League and Dota are massively successful for their respective companies and earn the millions upon millions of dollars to a point where they have enough spare change to lobby Congress to recognize pro gamers as athletes in the United States or have enough influence to get ESPN to do a 30 minute special on their world finals. Because of this, a ton of other companies won in on this MOBA action and nowadays we have a bazillion clones and takes on the MOBA genre that all these gaming companies are flooding the scene with which has led to this enormously oversaturated market. We all play League of Legends or some other Dota style game and we know it's enjoyable. Yeah, the community is rough around the edges, every game has its flaws, but at its core these games are fun, so much so that we've been playing them for years on end already. We've sunk thousands upon thousands of dollars into them despite the fact that they're technically free, and all of these communities have some of the most loyal and fanatical fans on the internet. So why is it that MOBA games like League of Legends have blown up so much so that every big name publisher from Blizzard to EA now want in on the action? To answer this question, we're going to talk about a game design researcher out there named Marc LeBlanc who's been giving lectures and presentations on what makes video games fun for nearly 15 years now. He's come up with eight pillars of game design that he refers to as the eight kinds of fun, eight subjects and design aspects that every single game out there can categorize their player's enjoyment into. No matter what video game you play, chances are your game has one or two at least of these kinds of fun the developer focused on giving you that give gives you the enjoyment you feel as you see the story unraveling, the open world for you to discover, or the challenges you face ahead. League of Legends fills six of these eight kinds of fun incredibly well. That's pretty huge. If a game encompasses all of these kinds of fun, then theoretically that means every single gamer out there can get at least some enjoyment out of the game, leading to a massive player base. Like, I don't know, maybe around 70 million monthly players. Enough chit chat though let's get into the juicy details. As I said, of these eight kinds of fun, League wholeheartedly encompasses six of them perfectly, starting off with fantasy. Fantasy is the kind of fun you get from losing yourself in another world, pretending to be someone or something you're not, and doing things that you'd never get to do in real life. A game where you control mythical heroes like rock monsters, gunslingers, and demonic little girls fills this category perfectly. At the time of writing this video, League of Legends has 119 real least champions that you can play as right now. 119 characters that although some of their abilities may be somewhat similar in how they perform, they're completely unique from one another in concept. Ladies that turn into dragons, giant green things of goop, and electric ninja midgets are just a few of the things you can immerse yourself in fantasy with, changing your character with each and every game that you play. The next kind of fun that League encompasses is challenge. Challenge is a pretty self-explanatory form of pleasure that many people can relate to. Seeing a video game as a series of obstacles to overcome with foes to be defeated. That's what MOBA games and multiplayer games in general are sort of based around, a perpetual challenge of defeating endless opponents within matchmaking. There's always a new challenge for competitive players to face, where sometimes it takes years for individuals to become even the top 1% of players in the world. League and encompasses this kind of fun perfectly through its multiplayer system, ranked ladder, and a never-ending quest for improvement for anyone out there ready to step up to the plate and meet this one-of-a-kind challenge. The third kind of fun that League has is Fellowship. Okay, we all know that MOBAs can certainly make it more difficult for us to trust others when working in a team environment, but the desire to interact with others in a social framework and cooperate as we strive towards a common goal, that's filled pretty damn well when you have a good game of League of Legends. The teamwork, composition synergy, or even just the rush that you feel when you work together to ace an enemy team is a feeling that's very hard to replace with any other game out there. Not only that, but in order to win a game of League of Legends, you have to work together, and since nearly everyone out there wants to win when they queue up to play, it's almost guaranteed that if you try your best, you're going to experience this kind of fun nearly every single game. 
The next kind of fun is one of my favorites, Discovery. Normally this type of fun is reserved to expansive worlds, video games like Skyrim or Minecraft, where players get a huge amount of joy in uncovering what's over the next mountain peak. But League of Legends has somehow captured this kind of fun in a brilliant way. This is something I talked a lot about in my Bronze Memories videos seen here. League has this way of getting newer players hooked while still keeping veterans around through the huge amount of content that it has and the wonderful feeling you get when you discover it. When you're new to the game, you have all these champions and items and spells to learn about, but even after you've been playing for several years and eventually memorize it all, you still get a sense of discovery in who you're going to play next, what the next meta is going to be, or what sort of creative strategy the next enemy team you see will use. It's as if all the knowledge you spent the past year getting joy from discovering is now a tool set that you can use to go and create your own adventure as you make your own unique discoveries. The next kind of fun is submission, games used as a mindless pastime that give you the same sort of joy you get when you grind some levels in your favorite RPG. League of Legends isn't as big in this area as a whole, but one of the things that you have to do every single game is farm monsters to level up and gain new abilities with more power at each level. That so perfectly exhibits the kind of joy many gamers get from this category, and it's implemented directly into League of Legends' gameplay. It's not a spectacular spectacular or significant sometimes as other games since it happens on a much more frequent basis, but it's something that's still captured perfectly since it's implemented as a core game mechanic that's always on your mind, which you do get a lot of joy out of when you see your outlast hitting your opponents or you level up to 6 first and get a kill because of it. The final kind of fun that League exhibits through its gameplay is arguably the biggest and most important one, expression. League of Legends has a creative way of going about this. It's a multiplayer game that isn't focused at all on expression, but being able to express yourself through your playstyle, your champion, or even the item build that you choose is a surprisingly wonderful thing. You have identity, if you want, as that one guy who plays Aurelia all the time, the one guy who's always so aggressive, or the guy who's the best mid laner in your division or even the guy that just won't stop picking Jungle Shaco when you get matched with him. Having a uniqueness to yourself is a great experience and League lets you have that in an awesome way. Other competitive games only allow you to be unique if you're the best in the world pretty much. That's the best Protoss player in the world, that's the best quarterback in the world, the best chess player in the world, but League of Legends, you can be the best Poppy in your division, the best Karma your team has ever seen, or the one guy who still goes blue build Ezreal. Having a 119 champions for you to play as, where most can be thrown down multiple lanes and played in multiple ways, and equipped with multiple builds, you can feel creative and very expressive if you have a desire to get that when playing games. League of Legends is a game that encompasses so many aspects of what makes other video games fun, so nearly everyone can get some enjoyment out of playing it themselves. Whether you want to be creative, work with your team to win the game, or focus on unearthing all the content, League has something for nearly everybody. As much as that may sound like an infomercial, I'm not trying to sell you on League. You almost certainly already play it, or some other MOBA if you're my subscriber, but the fact that just listing all that off makes League sound like some sort of overly promising advertisement advertisement, that sort of attests to how the MOBA genre has been taking the gaming industry by storm and why it's become the most overly saturated market since the MMO. It can cause us plenty of pain and frustration at times, but League of Legends provides most of its player base with unforgettable enjoyment and all kinds of fun that you can experience over and over again for years and years to come. Thank you all very much for watching, I'll see you all in tomorrow's daily, but until then, good luck in solo queue and have a wonderful day.